Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about uh, mascaras that I really don't like. And there are a lot of them. I'm the one that, that always looks for new mascaras that will give me these black, long, thick um, eyelashes. Uh, because usually I don't wear false eyelashes because I wear glasses and it's hard for me to wear uh, false eyelashes then and that's why I don't usually do that uh, of course if I have my contact list then I have and when I'm going out, out with my friends or out somewhere with my husband then I do wear false eyelashes but uh, I always I love mascaras and I always look for new mascaras that that will impress me now I have a bunch of them I think I have like 11 or 12, I don't know, something like that, mascaras that I didn't like or that I was really disappointed in. The lot of them, or a couple of them, are some favorites mascaras out there that you probably like or working for you. This is just my opinion and this is, and I'm going to explain why I didn't like them. When I think about it, all of these mascaras I'm going to show you kind of disappointed me in almost the same way. So I have a couple of them. And uh, yeah, let's start. First, I want to talk about something that I tried uh, for the first time, or I did use it a couple of times, but this is, was the first time that I heard something about this. This, and it's called 3D Moonstruck Fiber Mas Lashes Mascara. So it comes like this, and this is something that I got from a friend. She knows that I love mascaras and love to try new mascaras all the time, so she thought that I would be in love with this. It comes like this, in two. And the first one, it's this. Looks like a brush with some fibers on. It looks like fiber. And if I do like this, it stays on my hand. Can you see? Small fibers. It works like this. You take this one and you apply it to your eyelashes a uh, couple of times and then you take this one. This is a mascara. It's kind of creamy. You put it over so this gets stuck on your eyelashes and make them longer. Now I love the idea and I won't say that it didn't work, it did work, it did make my eyelashes long but it got everywhere on my cheeks, many falls out, uh, it was easy to wash, it did last all day I did got, uh, got this in my eyes, my really sensitive eyes and it started itching and I really didn't, didn't like the feeling I felt like this fiber was everywhere in my eyes and it was, it didn't feel comfortable so I used it maybe two, three times and then I thought this really didn't work for me. I know that many people love this, but I do not. It didn't work for me, so this is a pass. That now, next mascara that I want to talk about is Mascara Waterproof from Makeup Store. I like the brush of this one. I liked it. It wasn't too big, it was easy to apply. The one thing that I didn't like with this mascara is after uh, an hour or two, a friend of mine, she was like... There's something wrong with my eyes. She was... And she was trying to show me that I had mascara under my eyes. And that was not pretty. Uh, the worst thing, uh, sometimes when you get mascara under your eyes, you just rub your fingers. Not the best thing to do, but you do that in panic or hurry, just rub your fingers on, uh, under your eyes and it gets off. Not this one, it's waterproof. <laughs> so I had a hard time to remove this under my eyes and it was, I just didn't like it. I did try it a couple of times, I love the brush, I love the color, it's really black and it did make my eyelashes look longer but I think if the waterproof mascara, for me waterproof mascara is waterproof and it stays on your eyelashes, doesn't get anywhere else, it's just there. And it's 
hard to remove. But this one, it was really hard to remove, but it just didn't stay on my eyelashes. It got everywhere and I didn't like it. So, I don't recommend it. The one mascara that I really, really won't ever purchase again is this Clinique High Impact Mascara. Now, this mascara has a wonderful brush. It's really thick. It does make your eyelashes long, but after a couple of hours, maybe four, five, it looked like I didn't have mascara on my eyelashes. It just disappeared. First, I got it under my eyes too. And I was trying to put it again and it didn't really work. It just made big clumps on my eyelashes. I didn't like it. It got everywhere. It just transformed or, or on my eyelids and under my eyes. And after a couple hours, it was gone. I think they have an other mascara that I li liked. But this one, High Impact Mascara from Clinique, didn't work for me at all. And, of course, the one that I didn't like either, it's Gosh Amazing. This brush, I felt it was kind of hard to apply my mascara. It has a really strong smell. It wasn't that black, like I really wanted it to be. And this one too just got under my eyes and I didn't like it. Waterproof, it was very, very hard to remove, this one. And I know waterproof mascara are hard, harder than other mascara to remove, I know that. But this one was really, really hard. It didn't feel comfortable on my eyelashes. It felt heavy. Uh, my eyes were watering. I almost thought that I had an aller allergic reaction to this mascara. Didn't like this one either. This is a mascara that I first liked, this Volume Million Lash Excess L'Oreal Mascara. First, I loved it. I didn't like really this brush, it was too big, felt kind of plastic, but I like how it applied mascara on my eyes, eyelashes were long, but it dried very fast and when I tried to apply another coat, it just got clumpy and the first coat when I applied this mascara, it really gets my eyelashes long, separated, but then when I tried to apply another coat, it just didn't really work for me. I transferred to my under eye area, it stayed on my eyelashes. I, just, I didn't like brush and I was, when I was, uh, every morning when I was putting my makeup on and I was like looking at the mascaras and I think which, which one would I take, this one was the last I drop on. This was one that I didn't reach for, so there was something I didn't like about it. First I did, but there was something I didn't. When I apply my mascara, I like to take two or three coats. When I start taking another or third coat, it just got weird, my eyelashes got thick together. I was kind of, eh, didn't really work for me. So, one day at work, my friend came to me and said, I have a great mascara for you, you're gonna love it, it's my favorite, I want, to, I want you to try it. So she gave me this one, Max Factor Excess Volume Extreme Impact Mascara. And when I saw the packaging, I was thinking, um, okay, that's a, a strange mascara. But I said, okay, I will give it a try. And I came home. This mascara has two layers, extreme volume. You take first this one, it's really thick. I had really hard time to apply my under lashes. And then applied the other layer, this one. This mascara, didn't stay on my eyes, on my eyelashes either. After maybe six hours, it was gone. It was really hard applying uh, this mascara with this brush because this is too thick for me and I had really hard time to focus. This part of mascara that you hold is too heavy for me. It's strange, it's too thick, it's too heavy, I didn't like it. And this one, it's short. So, I, I don't know, it felt really strong applying it. So. Didn't I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, so this one is one of the mascaras that I don't reach for. So it doesn't stay along on my eyelashes. I know this is weird. When I tell people mascara don't stay long on my eyelashes, people thinking that I'm crazy. And I don't know if it's just me. I never heard anybody else say it. Not to me. So for me this one really didn't work. I tried it. Uh, I tried to love it because she really loved it. But I didn't, so no, no, no. 
Colossal Volume Express Mascara, Cat Eyes. This mascara I think I bought on Wish. I think I bought this one on Wish. I didn't like this one, I didn't like the brush. It was too thick and it didn't apply enough mascara on my eyes. I did like the smell. It smells like fruit, citrus fruit. I saw fallouts and I didn't like it that much. So this could definitely work for somebody, but it didn't work for me. There is one mascara that YouTube made me buy and I didn't like it at all. And it is I Ico London. Uh, Lightning Skinny Brush Mascara. I really, really didn't like this one. I know some YouTubers really like this one. They think this is amazing product. They think this is the best mascara ever. For me, it was like, what are you talking about? This is the worst mascara ever. I mean, look at the brush. It's really strange. For me, this brush didn't do anything brush put so little mascara on my eyelashes that it looked like I didn't wear eye mascara at all it looked really strange I know I had it once in another video but I didn't like it I think I took it just because it was there lying in my drawer I just took it I thought maybe I will give this a try because everybody else likes it but I didn't really tried to love this one really tried not love because it, it disappointed me first time I would I can't love it like wow the second time so I thought maybe I get used to it maybe I, if I apply a couple of layers it will work and no after four I thought okay if you have to apply a mascara more than three times it's not worth the money Icona Milano mascara. I don't know if I pronounced this right. I think I got this one in glossy box. I don't know. It was really long time ago. This mascara, I liked it. It really, it's black and it really made my uh, eyelashes longer. And I like this brush applied my mascara and all, on all of my eyelashes. After a couple of hours, I looked myself in the mirror and I saw like black under my eyes and I was disappointed because I really, I know when I got this I thought yes I really need new mascara, I hope this is a good mascara because I really need one and I don't, didn't have time to go and buy a new one so I had high hopes for this one. Like I said for me a mascara has to stay on my lashes, make them long, make them thick, make them just pop out and stay there. Don't go near my skin at all, stay on my eyelashes that's your place stay there this one didn't so don't doesn't work for me i was shopping some clothes for my children and the girl was really sweet in the store she told me oh this is the best mascara right? you're gonna love it and i said i hope you're right and uh i do like it <laughs> i won't lie uh, but look at this brush it's huge can you see this brush? This brush is fantastic. Look at this. You can bend it. It's flexible. And I did like it. But look how strange this brush looks. And first when I came close to my eye, I was really scared of this brush. I poked myself two times. So I didn't really like this brush. I did like mascara. I did like how it stayed on my eyes. I love the packaging, I think it's beautiful, I like this color, I like the uh, text color, this pinky one, uh, metallic of course, that's what I like, but I, it didn't impress, impress me. A mascara that I really didn't like and I won't ever buy again, I, and I can't wait to throw away, is this uh, Emit, and, uh, Emit, Emit, Emit uh, makeup mascara, I don't know how you pronounce this. I will put all information about this mascara down below. I li like the packaging, I like the feeling, I love the brush. I hate mascara, I hate the product. It was impossible to wash away. I think my eyes hurt so much when I was trying to take away this mascara, so it wasn't even worth. Uh, and that wasn't the worst part of it. it transform under my eyes, it was all over my under eye area and 
when I saw it at night that finally I took everything off uh, next morning I was black under my eyes again so I washed it and I know that this was a Sunday because I didn't wear makeup all that day all day I was like walking around and trying to remove this mascara on my eyes like two days I had in road I had this mascara on my eyelashes terrible and I had didn't have it on my eyelashes look only I had it under my eyes too so I used it two times and it's enough I don't want it I don't need it and I know maybe I'm talking fast and don't give you enough information it's just I tell you shortly why I didn't like mascara what it did that it didn't work for me and maybe it worked for some of these mascara you love maybe it works for you but for me really this one no never again now I have <laughs> I'm not finished I have a couple more. No, I think I have two more I want to show you. Now, uh, <laughs> mascara that everybody uh, loves. It's benefit, they're real. Not everybody. If, when I say everybody, I don't mean whole world. Uh, just the people that I was watching videos of. I saw many YouTube YouTubers using this one and they liked it. I got this. Uh, this isn't the full size. This is a test. I got it from uh, Glossy Box and I was really excited because I heard so many good things about this one. And it didn't work for me at all. I didn't like this brush. And it didn't stay on my eyelashes long and it, of course, got under my eyes. This one I didn't like. The one that I like from Benefit is this one. This is also a test that I got in Glossy Box. It's a uh, roller lash super curly and lifting mascara this one I like this I, this one I got for maybe a couple of weeks ago and I was using it a couple of times and this one I do like I, I love this angled brush it really picks up every little eyelash that I have and this one I do like and I'm going to buy the full size of it if you know a mascara that I maybe would like please let me know because I'm really looking for new mascaras all the time so uh, last week I bought a mascara and I never heard of this brand before and I was really excited of trying this because my friend was she was like selling makeup she had a brochure with some uh, interesting makeup or hair products beauty products and I saw this mascara in catalog so I bought it and it's this one the one instant extensions I think I pronounced this right I don't know if you can see it but this mascara is uh, this brush is kind of twisted and it's purple it's really hard to see in camera but if you look closer closer you can see that it's purple the brush not the mascara mascara is black of course I love this brush and I have that mascara on my eyes now I love it and I like this mascara. This mascara really impressed me. This one made me say, wow. I put three coats on it because when I put the first one, I really liked it and then I took the second one and I was, wow, look at my eyelashes, how long they became. And then I took the third coat and I was really, really happy. So this is a mascara that I'm going to try a couple more times and tell you what I think about it in other, another video in future. But this is a promising mascara, so I, so I will definitely give this mascara more chances. So if you haven't subscribed, please do that. See you. Bye.